hello guys appreciate you guys it's weekend and i hope your day trust your day was okay and uh i want you guys to listen to this uh vn and uh, let's continue this conversation the comment session uh according to what was said the uh, federal government are uh, getting involved uh to meet directors of uh, uag board regarding to uh what's going on pastor ken and co uh, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag. So you guys should listen to this video and uh, let's continue this conversation in the comment section. Please share this video because it's very important. This one that the federal government is uh, getting involved. So I want you guys to listen to it and uh, tell me what you think if you believe they are going to do the right thing. Appreciate you guys. I see you in my next post. And bye for now. Good morning, Nigerians. Good morning to all men and women CEOs that subscribed to UAAG grants of Apostle Dr. Ken Onwakama. I say good morning to all Bondu Eds and the subscribers of UAAG grants that have been eagerly waiting for the disbursement of these grants. Today being the 21st day of June 2024, I come your way again to give you updates of how far we have gone in our demand. I am Temitokwe Eluyemi Balogun. I want to inform you this morning that the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights, CDHR, FCT Abuja Branch, have written a letter of invitation to invite Apostle Dr. Ken Nwakama to meet them and us at their Abuja office on the 24th day of this month. I want to tell you that the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights and non-governmental mass-based organization, they stand for justice and fight for freedom to all, with zero tolerance to impunity oppression, fraudulent practices, and dishonesty of any kind. They have received our letter written to Lagos Browns, now landed in the city of Abuja, and they have informed Apostle Dr. K. Nwakama and a letter has been written, given to him, for him to come and defend himself of the allegation we level against him. You could remember that on behalf of all the subscribers of this UAAG grant, we demanded from Apostle Dr. Koen Uwakama to tell us the reason why we have not received these grants. And uh, is to show us the documents that show he is the original mandate of the grant we are expecting uaag grants we also want him to tell us to our face that he did not collect a dime from all ceos including myself which the interview which he granted the national television 
where he said he did not collect a dime from us after we have paid in billions of naira we are also asking the committee for the defense of human rights to assist us to get the list of all these ngos and cooperatives that apostle dr k umakama shared the grant to every other thing written he already aware of it as i am speaking and so i want you to know like i told you that we are helpless we do not have anybody and because they have set our names out that they should kill us with all our family now the authority is aware of that but the committee for the defense of human rights have read our petition and they do not want it to be as if they hear from us alone therefore i want you to know that on the 24th day of this month which is next week monday apostle dr ken Uwakama, the country director of alliance united alliance for grant for african grants united alliance for african grants uaag will be coming with all the necessary documents and proof of uaag grants please i do not want you to come except you get information from me again if there is any need for members for ceos for bundles few of you to come down i will send out another voice note but as i'm speaking with you let it be official because the reason why we we went to committee for the defense of human rights is for them to be able to help us so that the the economic the efcc economic and financial crime commission efcc will be able to intervene i know committee for the defense of human rights i know what they are capable of doing i am glad they have accepted our petition and i want you to know they did not wait they have already done the necessary things so that apostle dr ken Uwakama will come to their office and i want you to tell i want to tell you don't be afraid we are not fighting apostle dr ken Uwakama. We only need the proof of all what is said. We only need the proof of the UAG grants. We want to know why he said he did not collect any money from us. And we want also to know who and who the NGOs and the cooperatives he has shared the money with. These are all what we needed and which we know through the help of committee for the defense of human rights abuja branch we will get all this information so my brethren my brothers my fathers my uncles my mothers relax we are getting to the root of all the grants that we have come across in nigeria let us start with the one that the candle is burning our our, our fingers seriously first other grand handlers should start packaging their 
documents but of the UAAG grants I am glad to inform you that we will get to the root of this this month June 2024 I am Tomi Tokwe I want to say congratulations to all of you because we will know the truth and the truth will set us free i want to appreciate everybody that have been praying along i want to thank all the leaders all my families i want to thank every one of you i want to appreciate all of you that in my platform that you have been so in solidarity and i want you to know that the only thing we need is the truth so if apostle dr k and wakama could not provide all that we demand for of course you know the next step and i'm sure as a professor as a doctor as an ambassador he knows the next step so therefore I want every one of you to be getting ready. There might be need for you to come over to Abuja if Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama needed to, uh, to talk, to standard the documents and every necessary things openly because that is what we need. We need the proof. We need the truth. So every one of you just be prepared and i want you to know that coming to abuja is not for protest coming to abuja is not for any other thing but we want the world to see us we want our government to know how we have suffered in the hand of all these people called grant handlers we want the world to see what we are facing in Nigeria. If truly any donor give any donor give them grants to distribute to us. And we want our government to know that we are aware of all the grants that came to Nigeria. If truly there is grants that enter Nigeria. So if there is grants, well we we will gather in front of our government houses here in Abuja so that we can beg them. We can appeal to them so they can release the, the grant to us. The economic is not friendly now. The situation in Nigeria is very, very tensed. And if they can release any of these grants, I am sure we will all appreciate them. Now that Apostle Dr. Ken Iwakaman has been invited by Committee for the Defense of Human Rights, FCT Abuja Branch, I want every one of you to know no retreat, no surrender. We need justice. We need truth. And I'm assuring you that the truth shall set us free. Therefore, I want to tell you this morning there are many of these people that we have gotten a lot of videos and information about them that work with Apostle Dr. Ken Uwakama. Please to make this work fast because they, some of them saw the documents, some of them are aware of the money when the money entered the bank. So please kindly send the remaining proof of payments that you might have paid to any of them for the government NGOs and anyone that you might have paid in the past. And I want to urge those of you that are afraid. Which of these things are you afraid of? You are afraid so that they will not remove your name? You are afraid... I don't know. I don't know which one you are afraid of. If truly 
you are a CEO and you registered and verified. I don't know what is bad in you knowing the truth. I don't know what you, uh, error you have committed why you demand for the truth. Even with or without you, we have already started and we are not going back. So I'm just telling you in your own interest to follow us in this cause because nothing can stop us again. Already is now in the hand of government, is in the hand of human rights, is in the hand of the notable people in Nigeria. They need to hear us. They need to demand for the proof of UAAG grants. So, as helpless as we are, God rise and send a pass to us. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. We will get there. We are there already. God bless you all.